is Daria and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first ever video and I hope you enjoy it. I will be talking about how to stay productive during quarantine. So this is just what I've been doing and I hope it gives you some um, ideas about what you could be doing with your free time. Firstly, why have I started doing something with my time? Well, I've just finished university, I spent three years at York and I studied biomedical science which is a really intense course and I've just had something to do all the time. I was studying, revising, going to societies, running societies and now after it's all done and I've come back home <laughs> it just seems like I have so much free time and I really don't want to waste it as it's my last summer before starting a graduate scheme. The first thing I would I've started doing it just came up on my Facebook it's um, online courses so I joined Shaw Academy it's like four week free trial um, and I just wanted to see what it's all about and the first course that I signed up for was photography and I've actually done two lessons so they rec they only allow you to do two lessons per week and I think it's a nice amount so um, for photography, I've always been interested in it, but I've never known how to properly work a camera. <laughs> um, and I just really wanted to learn about it, and I've got a camera myself. I just wanted to learn how to use it properly and how I can uh, make the most out of it. Since then, I signed up for cryptocurrency, trading, and also app development, which is all like things that are relevant to me and I'm really interested in learning more about for my future um, for building skills on my CV as well as maybe starting a business one day in the future so I found that really good to give me a structure as it's eight hours a week so I can put it in the evenings but I know I'll be doing something productive each day um, sometimes for two hours as well as they've given you some quizzes and some assignments so there is a lot to do and I just feel like I can keep learning um, even after finishing university and it's more about learning what I want to learn um, and something that I can make use of in the future so it's really really good um, I won't get any certification out of it but I just hope to gain the basic skills from out all those areas, something I can talk about at interviews and I, yeah, I just think it's really good to learn and, and other ways you can learn, you don't have to do an online course if that's not your thing you could start reading a book, there's loads of books <laughs> everywhere, you can buy them cheaply second hand from eBay and other websites which sell books second hand as well as Amazon and um, also audiobooks and listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos. I've been watching huge, a lot of YouTube videos, so especially on investing as is a topic that I've not studied, but I know it's important. And you know what? It's just been really useful to find find a platform that I can use. So I've been using Free Trade, um, but it's all I've learned from YouTube and researching and reading so you can do so much if you just decide a topic or um, an area that you want to expand your knowledge in you, there is just so m many resources available and you, sh you just go find the resources educate yourself and then just do it and learn whilst doing it Another thing that I've started doing is actually selling things to make some income. I've come back home and I have so many clothes I've not looked at for years. There are some, There is furniture around that my mum doesn't want anymore and obviously all the charity shops are closed at the moment. So what have I started doing is listing things on eBay as well as Marketplace. I found Marketplace to be really good and really fast at selling things. Um, so actually I've been able to um, sell some furniture so marketplace is really good for furniture people just come pick it up in their cars um, and it's great <laughs> we we get some money so we can reinvest it into things that we actually want rather than 
things that are just lying there. It's the same with clothes. So I had so many clothes and I still do. And I've just been listing new things every day on eBay and then going to the post office and like sending them off. And it's just such a good way of reusing your clothes and not throwing it away. Often. Another thing is nurturing your hobbies. I know this sounds so cliche, but I've come back home and I realised I've not had time to. So I'm, I really love um, drawing and like drawing faces and it's just, it just gives me such joy. And since coming back home, I've just started doing it so much more and more. There's, I had, I have so much time and I just realised how much I've missed it, how calming I find it and it's so good for my mental health. And I just think, now you have time, why don't you use that time to become better at your hobbies? And I just think it's really good for you and something that I will definitely be doing more and more of probably starting some new styles, maybe painting, maybe drawing things that are outside of my comfort zone and I just want to stick with it even when I'm busy, finding time to do something I enjoy rather than always doing things that I think will make me more employable or things like that. I just think do something for yourself but it's also productive because you're not just sitting there and watching tv you doing something creative doing something good for yourself so if you have a hobby go for it just just enjoy it and take open your cupboards take your things out and just get in and then lastly, well, I'm speaking to you, so I've obviously started a YouTube channel and it's more than just like speaking to people, it's also to help me be a better public speaker and being, just being better at speaking. I'm not very good, I just, I just never know what to say and it's always in my head and I just want to communicate better with people and I think by starting a YouTube channel it gives me that opportunity. I'm able to think and speak more and communicate and maybe become better at fluently speaking my thoughts. And I also hope I can help people out just by giving some ideas uh, what to do with your free time. Uh, another thing that I've been doing is actually tutoring people online. So. After finishing university, I've obviously got a good knowledge of biology or chemistry and maths and I just wanted to give something back. I've always received a lot of help throughout my studies and um, with application writing etc. And I wanted to give it back to people and I started tutoring in those subjects and it's really fulfilling and I love just being able to I'm obviously doing it online and I prepare powerpoints and put exam questions in and it's just really beneficial for the student and also for me to be able to give something back and earn some um, side income. So if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because there will be more coming your way um, and it will really help me grow my channel because I think I've got so much more to give and also I want to become more confident at speaking publicly.